Hi, I'm Mrs. D. Math. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be covering writing equations from tables in eighth grade math. This goes along with our other slope videos, and you can find all of those linked below. When using a table, you want to choose two ordered pairs from the table to find the slope using the slope formula. Then you're going to plug in an X and a Y ordered pair to solve for the Y intercept to complete the slope intercept form. So let's first look at our table here. We have our x's and our y's, and if you notice, it doesn't start at 0 or 1 for the x or the y. But we can use our formulas, and we can figure out what our slope is, and then we're going to use that to find our y-intercept. So here we have 10 and 45, 20 and 50, 30 and 55, and so on. You just have to pick two of those ordered pairs to make your y1 and your y2, x1 and x2. Looking here at the table, the easiest ones I can see are probably going to be this ordered pair 20, 50, and this one 40, 60. So that way we don't have to deal with fives. Everything is tens and it makes it a little simpler. So I'm going to make this my one, and over here this one will be my two ordered pairs. So we have the ordered pair 40, 60, and 20, 50. I'm going to go ahead and write it out just to make sure that we get everything in the right spot. So down here, we're going to do 60 minus 50 for my y2 minus my y1. And that means this is my x2. So 40 minus 20 is going to go in the denominator. So now I have 60 minus 50 is 10. 40 minus 20 is 20. And this can reduce to 1 half. So now I know that my m or my slope is 1 half. But I haven't figured out my y-intercept yet. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to plug in 1 half for my x and then I have plus b. Well, I don't know my b, but I do know my x's and my y's. So I'm going to just take one of these ordered pairs and we'll go ahead and use this one. So instead of y, I'm going to plug in a 50 and that's going to equal 1 half times 20 for my x plus b. Now I can solve for b. I know that half of 20 is 10, and then I know in order to isolate the b, I have to subtract 10 from both sides. So that means 10 minus 10 is gone. So my final solution is b equals 40. So that means whenever my x is zero, my y is 40. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna fill in my equation in slope intercept form. So y equals 1 half was my m for slope times x plus 40 is my b or my y intercept. So this is my final equation that goes with this table. So here's another table. We're going to try a different one. So I have my forms here so I don't forget. And again, you're going to want to choose two ordered pairs. And in this case, they don't really have anything that looks simple to use, so I'm gonna just go with the two smallest ones. So I'm gonna write my ordered pairs, 111 and 214. And this one, the second one, is larger, so I'm gonna make that my twos. So we're gonna fill that in here. So two is 14, y1 is 11, over x2 is two, minus x1 is 1, so now I'm just subtracting. 14 minus 11 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1, so my slope is 3. Now I need to use my formula over here and plug that in. So I don't know my b, so I'm going to go ahead and use an x and a y, and I'll just go ahead and use this first one. So my y is 11, that equals slope times 1 plus B. So just to make sure you understand what we're doing here, we just solved for the M. I don't know my B, but I can use my table here and I can find an ordered pair to plug in for the X and the Y. So I have plugged in this 11 for my Y, this 1 for my X, and now I'm going to solve for B. So now 11 equals 3 plus B. In order to get rid of that 3, I'm going to have to subtract it from both sides. So this means that b equals 8. Now I can plug it into my original equation. So I now have y equals 3x plus 8. 
And in order for this to be the correct solution, I can take any number from this table, plug it in for the X, that's my input, and my answer will be the Y, my output. So let's say I take this ordered pair up here for 20. I can plug in a four for X. I'm gonna solve and my answer should be 20. So four times three is 12. 12 plus eight is 20. And that'll work for any number in the table as well as any number beyond the table. Thanks for joining me today for writing equations from tables in eighth grade math. It is a little bit harder than writing equations from a graph because you do have to solve for your y-intercept, but I hope that this made it a little bit easier. I'm Mrs. D. Math. I hope you have a great day. Bye.